Hello and welcome to this short tutorial about opening up the raw images from the OMD EM5 Mark II in Photoshop. Now at the time of making this video, Adobe has not released a formal update for Photoshop or its Adobe Camera Raw software to be able to open these images natively. So today I'm going to walk you through the process of downloading and installing a special plugin Olympus has given us users to work with until Adobe comes out with that new software. This software only works for raw images taken with the high resolution setting in the OMD EM5 Mark II. It will not work for the 16 megapixel raw images. Now that being said, I took this in raw using that high resolution setting, that 40 megapixel setting, and gosh, let me tell you, this is a very exciting feature from Olympus. I mean, you can just keep going in and in, and I'll just skip to 100%. I mean, I came up with a ruler and measured the height of my bike, and this is actual size. In fact, it's a little bit bigger than the real life size on my monitor. I mean, there's so much detail in here at 100% that it is just, it is just wow. And the capabilities of this raw file are just absolutely staggering. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how I was able to open this raw file in Photoshop and then you can edit them however you like. Whoops. So the first thing is down in the description, I provided a link to bring you to this website. Now this is the Olympus support site and this is where you can download the plugin for Photoshop. Now there, you do need to be aware of some system requirements. For example, your monitor needs to have at least 1024 by 768 pixels or more with a minimum of 32,000 colors or 65,500 colors, depending on your operating system. And I fully back this up. You absolutely need eight gigabytes or more of RAM in order to use this, pr this plugin with Photoshop. And you do need a Core 2 Duo 2.0 gigahertz processor or faster. And absolutely, I recommend that you have the most recent version of your operating system installed. These files are very big. And when they come out of the camera, they're about 100 megabytes. When I opened mine up in Photoshop, it went from 100 megabytes to over a gig and a half. And so you think about how much it's stacking in your RAM. Mine was definitely using more than the 8 gigabytes of RAM that it says is necessary for this. I was using, I think, nine and a half gigabytes of RAM for the edit of that image you just saw. So be aware of that. You do need RAM in order to edit these images. So to install this plugin, it's very simple. Just type in the serial number of your camera and then Olympus will open up the download settings for you. I've already got this installed. If you've installed a program before in your life, this is nothing new. There's no special registration. All you need is the serial number. After it's installed, here's how you go ahead and open up the image. Now you can't just come in here and say file, open, and click on your picture and open it. Adobe can't do this natively. That's why you need to use the plugin software that has been added to your Photoshop. So instead, after you've installed that software, you go into file and you go to import and you import high res shot file plugin aptly named after that locate the raw file and then i don't know if this is olympus's idea of a joke but it gives you this beautiful olympus high res shot file plugin photoshop thing where you can do color adjusting or you can do i don't know exposure compensation but let's just be completely honest with each other this is not adobe camera raw this is actually pretty worthless software. So what I recommend is just opening it as it was. I'm just going to close this and reopen it. File, import, high res shot, and then click on it. And I just leave the settings as they are because since we're working in raw, you can open it in Adobe, in Adobe Camera Raw. But um, for now, also know that you can only open it in the limited sRGB and Adobe RGB color spaces. Pro Photo RGB is not available yet. 
for these raw files, which is disappointing, but I have faith that it'll be released soon. So for now, I'll just use the Adobe RGB. I guess I'll throw in a quick side note. When you shoot a raw image, it contains a lot more information than Adobe RGB, even though that's what you may have set in your camera. Profoto RGB is necessary to be able to open up all of the colors of your file, but that's for another tutorial. For now, we'll just click process. And you can see that it has an embedded color profile that does not match RGB because I use Profoto. So I'm just going to use the embedded profile and I'm going to work with Adobe RGB. It's killing me, but it'll be okay. And once it opens up, you can go ahead and just hit close. And here it is. This is the raw file in Adobe RGB. You can see it's got it open the .orf file. And that's really it. If you want to open it up in Adobe Camera Raw, I recommend converting it to a smart object. And then you can go up to Filter and Adobe Camera Raw Filter. And there you have it. All of your beloved sliders are all in here and uh, you can edit it just like you would any other image. And there you have it. You can edit it just like anything else. I mean, you can see I've got on here the camera raw filter, but I've also got layers and pattern fills and all kinds of layer masks, curves, and, uh, and levels adjustments in here. And this raw file is as powerful as any as I've ever worked with on both Nikon and Canon DSLRs. And not only that, but it's so much more detailed. And being aware of the limitations of the, of the raw file or shooting in this setting, being moving objects, you can find all kinds of different ways to use these raw files. And it is just staggering the amount of information that's contained in this raw file. I mean, honestly, it's, I've seen things on my bike working on this picture that I never knew, little nicks and scratches like that one right there. It's very sad. But um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you find it useful. And I also hope that Adobe hurries up and releases the native profile for this camera so that we can really have some fun. But until then, go ahead and have fun editing your image and have a fantastic day. Resto in danza tondo tondo donne mie venite qua un garzon veloce con lo a ciascuno toccherà finché in cerri la una stella e la luna svenderà il più bel con la più bella tutta notte danzerà mamma mia mamma mia ci ha la luna in mezzo al mare mamma mia mamma mia mamma mia si salterà ricche 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 mamma mia si salterà Ricche, <laughs> Ya se avanza si ritira e al salto tornerà Sera sera col bianco con la bruna va qua là con la rosa va secondo con lo sport fermo sta viva il ballo tondo tondo sono un re sono un macià il più bel piacere del mondo la più cara volontà mamma mia mamma mia ci ha la luna in mezzo al mare mamma mia mamma mia mamma mia si salterà fricca 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 Fricke, 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 mamma mia, si salterà. Fricke, 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 mamma mia, si salterà. La ra la ra, la ra la ra la ra la la, la ra la ra, la ra la ra la la, 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 la ra la ra la 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 la la
la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la la